Welcome back to another episode in the campaign chapters. Wolf 190D here with a German campaign started circa 1910. And as you can see in the fade out, we are currently at November 1922, so almost three years into the game. Uh, we do, we, we have had a, a couple changes in government, actually. We started off with the uh, constitutional monarchy, then went over to a democracy, and uh, I'm not sure what they call themselves here, but it is the German Reich, so the Nationalist Party has taken power. Now, we have a, my battle cruiser detachment has run into... Mm, kind of an actual fleet of the British here, led by a battle cruiser. Let's see how they do. I tend to be a little bit more cautious with these because it doesn't seem like the battle cruisers maneuver as well um, as they could. But that being said, that being said, they do perform pretty well actually I mean you know they, they've got plenty of firepower for picking on pretty much anything smaller than themselves as a matter of fact since they are faster than the battleships of their era <clears throat> excuse me I do tend to make them a little bit l more lightly armored I mean this one with uh, 12 inch guns I'm actually running in 11.6 which uh, traditional builds, if it, as it were, would say 11, 5 and a half. So I went a little lighter on the main belt, a little heavier on the fore and aft belt. Why? For picking on cruisers, mostly. So let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit. And what am I doing? I normally detach one of my destroyers here at this point uh oh this might um turn really bad really quick of the old 36s. Uh, that's sort of unfortunate. Not really, but I mean, it's... Mm, it's, it's sort of inconvenient. <laughs> Sort of, hell, it's totally inconvenient. Now, what did I equip these guys with? Six inch turrets, 12 inch mains, six inch casement guns. And it does look like they have been updated with the Mark IVs on the sixes, so.
do I keep on pushing through it? Yeah, let's keep on pushing through. Oh, I don't like that though. Yeah, that could be trouble. Oh no, and he's done launched his torpedoes. Yep, there they go. Much lighter armored. Why is he going so light on it? Ouch. That actually kind of hurt a little bit. Ooh, can she hold on? Can she hold out? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think his, uh... I don't think his battle cruiser is really holding up too well. He's peeling off. Those 12 inch guns are just freaking mean. Oh man. I almost got clipped by that destroy by that torpedo. really actually gorgeous graphics and the effects are pretty good gaping holes blasted in the armor not to mention when the ships do start to flood they actually do list and some of them get pretty wild angles let's take a look at this guy yeah look at this guy Yeah, 
and settling down about a rear end off to one side into this. These battle cruisers have taken a bit of a beating, haven't they? Good grief. Well, I gotta give it to him. Gotta hand it to him. His battle cruisers are tough. Now, you set somebody on retreat, and they're supposed to avoid the nearest enemy. And what does he do? Charges right off into that one. Don't understand. Don't understand. Good grief, is this thing going to sink? Closing up on the reload, so I'll go ahead and straighten out so my guns have time to aim back. out of here with our lives that'd be great especially that destroyer that got off up in the middle of those cruisers like that what the heck was that all about sometimes I wonder man is he really going AB oh, come on those cat ballistic shells ought to be able to punch holes right in him oh that's why because <laughs> I left it on AP Now, those cap ballistic HE shells should have enough tail to get through his armor. Oh yeah, 3.1 on the main belt even? Good grief. That's maybe six inches. Partial pin doing 700 damage. Okay, let's switch over to uh, automatic. Maybe he did know what he was talking about. Okay. That's that. Managed to take out the battle cruiser, a couple destroyers. Eh, pretty good damage all around, but eh, maybe not the best of ideas. Closing the gap with his battle cruiser as soon as I did. Yeah, probably not. But nonetheless, um, main gun accuracy was. 31%, which is too shabby, actually. The resistance doing 30% hits. Okay. 17.1 inches of penetration. 11.3. Interesting. What was 17.1? Uh, okay. Well, as always... Thank you for stopping by. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content, and I will get back with you next time. More updates on the German campaign.